What's up? What's up? What's up? Yo, yo, yo! It's the Men and Women Podcast. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> yeah, we're trying new intros. Okay. Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the Minute Women Podcast. My name is Grace, and I'm Linnea. And today is the day. Today is the day. We're a little late to the game because this will be coming out in mid-December, but However, in the present, something very exciting has just happened. Yes, I arrived in Halifax with a box of Tim Beeps. Tim Beeps. Yeah. All Tim three Beeps, flavors. Which are taking the world by storm. By storm. I was listening to someone, they're like, yeah, the merch is selling for like tens of thousands of dollars oh, and yeah. like at auction and all this other stuff. I was like, really? And they're like, yeah, they can't get it in the States. I'm yeah. Like, yeah, I guess. And people love Justin. I guess. Yeah. This much, though? A grand, I think the branding's not that I, I will beautiful say or anything. It's the old school Tim Hortons look, though. That's like true. when Tim Hortons came out, it was the brown and yellow, ugly like look with the stripes. <laughs> um, and and Justin's rolling with it, but uh, I like his his branding is very boy goes to skate park and writes his name on the ramp in Sharpie. He in doesn't Sharpie? have spray paint. He just has a Sharpie. His mom wouldn't drive him to Michael's, so no. he can't get spray paint. <laughs> but his sister did have a Sharpie that he was allowed to borrow. And yeah. he's been tagging his name all over town. Exactly. So I have experienced the Tim Beebs. Yeah, this is not your first rodeo. So, and I will say, though, I like had them. And the same day I saw someone else who had them on instagram like rated them okay and she was like 14 out of 10 for all of them and i was oh. like um that's not how i felt so like so like you'll, you'll we'll yeah. try you'll say and i don't know like maybe they're i've never had them from this specific tim hortons so like who knows maybe <laughs> maybe theirs are better yes well i think we can both agree what the best flavor of Timbit is it's our it's our greatest. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. if if you have another answer you're wrong. I am yeah. I am a proponent of chocolate Timbits and I know that's not a popular opinion. Yeah. A lot of people think chocolate Timbits are really overrated and they're not yeah. very good, but I like them more than birthday cake and yeah. birthday cake is yeah. really popular. So the three flavors that Justin has created, curated, curated are birthday cake waffle which, again, as I said on the episode when we talked about the announcement, I don't understand how that's any different than just birthday cake. Right. So it's like rolled in waffle pieces. A whole waffle? Like crunched up waffle. <laughs> anyway. Um, and then the next flavor is like chocolate white truffle. So it's like chocolate rolled in like white truffle. Uh-huh. And then and then sour cream chocolate chip. Sour cream glaze chocolate chip. So it's like rolled okay. in chocolate chips. It's basically like donuts that are uh, Timbits that they already had rolled in things. Rolled in things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds great. Yeah. So. I'm ready. Here, let's do a little ASMR. Asthma. Ooh. It's happening. <laughs> Can you smell it? Can you smell it? So visuals... <laughs> ugly they don't look particularly beautiful i'm so i'm assuming this is chocolate that's the chocolate yes and this is the birthday cake waffle yeah and that's the okay so i'm gonna take a picture and then we can post it yes. later so you can get the visuals along with us they See look like saying? dusty timbits i i my description was i was talking to someone about them at work and i said it looked like they're the timbits that rolled around in the bottom of the 40 pack yeah. And like it got all the other Timbits on them. So what should we Well, you're the expert. So where should we begin? Well, I say we save the best for last. Oh, okay. Cuz we I mean already like in my like first tasting, I was already going to save the sour cream glaze for last right. cuz it's Okay. The birthday cake is the one I'm most skeptical of. So should okay. we try it? Yeah, so this is birthday cake waffle. Okay. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> See, it tastes like a Timbit that rolled around. With other Timbits. Yeah. It's a, it, these aren't particularly light and fluffy either. Like, I no. think because they're coated and stuff, they get a little dense. It's a little dense. A little maple though. I think there's maple in the waffle. Mmm. A little syrup. Mmm. That's fine. I'd say, like, a 5 out of 10. Oh, yeah. It's, like, a solid middle-of-the-road thing. 
that's the other thing. When people rate things on a scale of one to ten, they treat seven as if it's the middle. Yeah, incorrect. That's not the middle. Five is fine. Five, four, four to six, fine. It's millennials, man. We live in this like participation ribbon society, <laughs> and everybody thinks five is a failure. <laughs> I think that, like, I think anything three and below, bad. Yeah. Four to six, fine. Yeah. Seven to ten. Seven to, seven to nine, yeah. like, great, good. And ten out of ten is, like, Yeah. Chef's That's, like, kiss. chef's kiss. So let's go with the chocolate. The chocolate is, like... It looks almost like mini marshmallows, but I don't think that's what it is. It's supposed to be white chocolate truffle. <laughs> I just imagine them going around with, like, some truffle pigs trying to find, <laughs> like, truffles in the forests of Ontario. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. Like, again, it's fine. It's fine. It's I like chocolate chip bits. So I have a feeling, in general, this is the least popular because people don't like chocolate chip bits. I think that this one tastes like chocolate wedding cake. It's got that, like, chocolate more, wedding cake. more dense texture. Mm. Mm. Like, you know how wedding cake, like, when they do the slabs? We've been to a lot of weddings. <laughs> like a- <laughs> Do you have friends who love each other and get married? I don't. I've uh, been to three weddings in my so life. So usually there's like the cake they cut and then there's like a slab cake that they just like chop mm. up and give to everybody. Right. And this kind of tastes like that. Right. It's fine. I. These are messy timbits. Five out of ten. Yeah, they are. They get everywhere because they got all this crumble stuff on them. Mess, one out of ten. You can't just pop them in. Nope. Their timbits have gotten bigger, too. I feel like when I was a kid, I could eat them the same way I eat them now, which, and I've gotten bigger, so. Science. Science. <laughs> you okay. do the math. So this is the uh, chocolate chip. Sour cream. Sour cream glaze. Cheers. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, this is the best one. And it's because it's the best timbit. Because it's a sour cream timbit. I, have, I do feel a little shortchanged. Because they made such a big deal out of it, but they did just take Timbits that already exist and mm-hmm. roll them in other stuff. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah. it worked. I've never seen, like, Tim Hortons in the news so much. Yeah, but I would say, like, I give this one, like, a 7 to 8 out of 10. Yeah, it's like a more fun version of the sour yeah. cream glaze. It's like, take the thing you love and add chocolate to it, and you're like, okay. That's never really bad. Like, no. The first two 5 out of 10, this is the second out of 10. Mm-hmm. Our very mathematical review list. Review of uh, Tim Beeps. Yeah, mm-hmm. like, I just, like, I feel that I could eat, like, probably, I mean, we just ate three Timbits. I could probably eat, like, four sour cream glazed Timbits, <laughs> but I would only want to eat, like, one of them like that. Yeah, that's a good you point. You know what I mean? I, they are less uh, crushable. Yeah, they're a little bit, like, they're just a little more, like, chunky. Yeah, and the chocolate's not nice chocolate. No. Not that I expected that. Yeah, I would say birthday cake waffle is the most disappointing overall, just because it's like, why? Yeah. What makes it a waffle? It doesn't even, like, resemble waffle, really. No. I don't know where the waffle's coming from, but it was a good point of, like, maybe it's, like, maple syrup. Yeah, I think whatever. that's what it is. Like, it yeah. tastes a little bit maple-y. It's like a McGriddle. Like, yeah. <laughs> so, like, they took a, they went to McDonald's, bought some McGriddles, mashed them up, rolled them. I had a McGriddle for the first time. Really? When I drove down to see you the other weekend when we recorded at your apartment. I've never had a McGriddle. I, I didn't order it. I just had a bite of Eric's. Oh. I don't know how someone would eat that as a breakfast sandwich on a regular basis. Yeah. No, I've never had one. Two little fluffy pancakes in a sandwich. That's weird. It's it's a lot. It's like we've just given up. Yeah. We have given up on the idea of like a nutritious breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Because it ain't this. <laughs> it's not this, folks. <laughs> oh, funny. So, yeah. Cool. I obviously, like, you know, bought into it and supported it. I've had them twice now. Yeah. And, and it's not, yeah, it's not like I hate them. I just. It's fine. It's just fine. It's just, I wanted some new Timbit flavors. I wanted something yeah. exciting. I think I wanted a little more effort. Yeah. For how much effort they put into their marketing, I wanted more effort in the product. In the product, yeah. But yeah, people have been so weird. Like, I've seen posts that it's like, these are the greatest things to ever happen to Timbit. How much money did they give you to say that? Exactly. How much money? Also, Tim Hortons, if, if you're listening, like, you can buy our opinion. A hundred percent. 
you want Minute Women to give all of the Timbits a 14 out of 10? Slide us a, a crisp, smooth $20 bill across That's the table. It. That's, That's it. all you need to do. Maybe one of those cool <laughs> fanny packs. Maybe one of those cool. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. We could auction it off, maybe. Maybe make a little money. Make a little pocket <laughs> change nice. for the Christmas season. That'd be nice. That'd be nice. Happy holidays. <laughs> Hey, Minute Women listeners, just a reminder that the best gift you can give to us this holiday season is to rate, review, and subscribe to this podcast. You can find links to all of our social media over at minutewomenpodcast.ca, and you can find us on Apple Podcasts, which is the best place to leave a five-star review and let us know what you think. (laughs) Speaking of the holidays. Yeah. So this is kind of a short episode, as you probably already noticed. But, but it's, it's, because it's because we have exciting, exciting news. It's because we're working on something very special. So special. So I decided to overcommit to the holiday season <laughs> during, you know, the end of semester. And just let me know. She just let me know that she's I like, overcommitting. I, have, I, I had a great idea. And then I was like, oh, my God, ideas take work to fulfill. <laughs> Shit. This is not why I started a podcast. Um, but no, we are going to be doing 12 Days of Christmas. 12 yeah, Days we of Christmas are. with the Minute Women. We don't really have a fun Hell name yeah. for it. If if you think of a fun name, let us know. Well, yeah, let us know. Maybe by the last day we'll have a fun name. Yeah, maybe by the <laughs> end of the the series we'll have something fun to say about it. But yeah, we're just so grateful for all of you that this is our fun little Christmas present to you. 12 Days of Minute Women. You just can't. Get away from us. Yeah. So starting on December 14th and running until December 25th, Christmas morning, we will be releasing an episode every single day. You're welcome. You, maybe. Maybe you're pissed. (laughs) But too bad because this is our goddamn show. Yeah, we'll we'll do do whatever we want. Whatever we want. And so we'll be diving into some of like the weird stories about Canada's holiday season. Yeah. The the, history of Canada's Christmas. Yeah, the classic Canadian Christmasisms, if you will. Because I have this theory that we're always doing weird stuff. Yeah. And it's not until other people look at it and then they're like, that's weird that you realize that it's weird. Exactly. So we're going to be going into some new stuff that's been happening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Stuff that's been happening for thousands of years yep and we're going to be presenting it to you every single day from december 14th until december 25th you're welcome you're welcome guys (laughs) december 14th is a tuesday so the next time you hear us it won't be a wednesday Uh uh-uh so keep an eye out for december 14th tuesday for the first episode of minute women's 12 days of christmas see you then bye bye So December twenty four. Thank you. <laughs> December fourteenth is. Thank you. Okay. Okay. That's gonna be the blooper for sure. <laughs>